Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have a Killstar haul for you. I haven't done a Killstar haul I think in quite some time so I hope you enjoy this video. If you're looking for reviews of these pieces I hope this is helpful. Do subscribe and I will get straight on with the video. So I did actually do a Disturbia haul previously maybe one or two videos ago now and I really wasn't happy with that <laughs> so if you'd like to see a review on that I will link it in the eye for you up there but today we are doing a Killstar haul and I have to say this is kind of the exact opposite I'm really happy with the majority of the pieces but with all of my clothing hauls I'll go through the details the sizing the quality the price and I'll also have a try on of each piece after I've talked about it so you can kind of get a better idea of what it looks like on someone. So yes, I've got five things to show you. I will start with, I think this is probably the oldest piece in the collection and this one is called the Believer two-piece dress, which is like the tarot card dress. So when this came out, I thought this was really unique to what they usually do. I feel like, although I really like the items in this haul, there's definitely, less and less items that I like in the new drops compared to their older stuff. I liked a whole lot more in their older stuff. I've never been someone who liked 100% of what they bring out because a lot of it is definitely not my style but these pieces definitely are. So this is the like tarot card dress. Now I've got my order here which is why I'm looking down. So this retails at £39.99 so kind of standard to their older prices i feel like the older prices were always around like 30 to 40 pounds with dresses and this is like a two-piece set and i got it for 27 pounds 99 i did order all of this in the black friday sale so i did get 30 percent off of everything and i also had two gift cards so i placed two orders so i could use both of them <laughs> this was in the first order and this is the dress that i'm talking about I absolutely love the print of this so it is quite simplistic but this is the first half of it and it's kind of like a slip dress but it's very very flattering so to start with it's got these kind of strappy straps and they do have adjustable things on them which is perfect so you can get it to fit you really really well I always appreciate things when they've got adjustable straps because there's been cases where dresses have just like been too low that I don't feel comfortable with and the straps are adjustable and it's a bit annoying because if they were then I would have ended up keeping the dress so appreciate that it does say ghouls just want to have fun on the label which is cute and then the rest of it is just kind of like a slip dress so there's not much shaping to this however when you put it on it's very very flattering it's a lot more flattering of a dress than i really thought it would be so it's just kind of a square neckline and then i don't know how to show you this so it kind of like goes in at the waist slightly and then just kind of goes down <laughs> and it is quite a long dress as well it's kind of like it hits above the knee on me which I'm glad it's not too long because when dresses are too long on me they make me look weird and I don't end up keeping them but this is a really nice length and I don't think this would be too short on you if you were a bit taller than me I am five foot two if that helps for like a reference and the print on this is all over it like this is the front this is the back it would be weird if the print suddenly stopped on the back i feel like that would look very strange <laughs> it's basically all of these different types of tarot cards and these designs are gorgeous so it says what does it say temperance the moon the devil and they're all kind of like creepy looking tarot cards like the skulls there i think that's a skull for the magician like they're all in this creepy design the moon what's this one temperance again so it does seem to repeat with like the moon the devil the magician temperance the emperor is down there on the back so the emperor is there but it does seem to repeat between those two oh and the em empress and death and the fool so it does actually repeat quite a lot but it does have different ones so there is death there with like a grim reaper 
just loved the design of it and I thought it was unique for Killstar and it kind of gave me like old school Killstar vibes because they did a lot of like witchy tarot kind of stuff to begin with. I just really liked this. I did get it in a size small. I am usually a size small with Killstar and it fits me perfectly. I really like the tag on these ones actually. They've got like coffins and they do have these upside down crosses. Which I think is cool. Um, so sizing wise it fits me. I think it's a very flattering fit for a dress like this. I expected to put it on and need to put a belt with it. But it actually looks so flattering by itself. Just by the way the shaping is. Like the way they've brought it in at the waist. It's not just a tube dress which is shapeless or anything. So I was really surprised by that actually. In terms of like loose threads. There's not many but there is like one at the top there. But apart from that there doesn't seem to be any so i'm pretty happy with the stitching on this material wise this is quite thin but i don't actually mind because it is so thin i would assume that it would be clingy but it's not like i don't it's just magic <laughs> it's not clingy and it's not shapeless like it's really nice but the material of this if you're curious is viscose and elastane so it's stretchy um but it is that kind of like thinnish material so if you're not a fan of that then maybe this isn't for you but it's not like the thickest material in the world however it doesn't seem to be see-through unless you kind of stretch it so that's kind of the material the only concern i would have about this is how well the print holds up i had the ghost skirt that was bought out years ago and it sticks together like this in the wash so I actually don't wash that anymore so I'm hoping that this will be fine but it did arrive packaged really nicely with like tissue paper in it which was surprising but I don't know if that means that it could stick that would be my only concern with this but overall I was actually really impressed with this and it was probably one of my favorite pieces out of the ones I ordered so that did surprise me um and I feel like 28 pounds for this is fair enough and also with that one you do get a mesh top underneath which is really nice usually especially with like Disturbia if they put an outfit together you'll be like oh that looks really nice and then it's like 40 pounds for one piece and 20 for the next when they should really go together so i do like that this comes with a mesh top and it's not sewn in because that means you can use this for different things and what i also loved about this dress is i can wear it how it is for the summer like on its own in the autumn you can pair it with this and in the spring and in the winter you could pair it over like a thinnish turtleneck kind of like a long sleeved top like this with like a high neck like that would look so pretty so this is such a versatile piece so although it is thin you could definitely layer it in the winter which is what i plan to do but i do like that it comes with this so this has quite like a high crew neckline the mesh is very very soft it's not itchy and then it's just kind of standard it doesn't have anything interesting going on on the sleeves but it is quite cropped but I do think that that's kind of a nice length for that. So really actually impressed by this. And And the other two items that I placed in the same order as the tarot card dress were the pieces made out of that green, like like emerald green velvet. So I do have the Doom Duchess skirt and the Mistress of Mayhem skater dress. Both of those I got in a size small. So I'll go through the skirt first. The skirt originally costs £34.99 and I got it for £23.99. Now I'd say that's fair enough for a skirt like this. It's not detailed in the sense that it's got loads of stuff on it but the pattern itself is gorgeous it's really pretty and it catches the light really nicely so this is kind of 
what it looks like so it's one of these kind of figure hugging mini skirts it does have a thickish waistband across the front and then you can see this pattern and do you see what i mean by in the light it almost goes metallic and it's got this repetitive like almost royal looking print with all these goats and unicorns and i just love this print so you might remember i think it was in my previous killstar haul i bought a dress in this and the scoop neck was so low like it was lower than i'd feel comfortable wearing so i did end up sending that back but i said in that haul that i wanted to get something else in this print because i just really wanted something in this so i did buy the dress and the skirt because i wasn't sure if this was going to be any good because these types of skirts are very hit or miss for me i'm actually wearing the primark dress which is this kind of style and it fits me perfectly but i've also had pieces that have been too short like this <laughs> or that have just been very clingy and haven't looked very nice so i wasn't sure how this was going to go it's a shame because i actually it like it fits me okay i'd say maybe it's a bit tight but it doesn't feel too bad um maybe i would have been better with a medium but unfortunately it's just very very short i did see on reviews on their website that people said it was a short skirt but i assumed because i was five foot two that it might have been okay on me but it is just very very short like that's all of it and to go around like your hips and like the widest part of you by the time it's gone round all of that it's really really short and it would be okay if you didn't move but by the time you're walking with these skirts they do tend to ride up because they're like clinging to you <laughs> so unfortunately this one will be going back but quality wise it feels really nice sorry about the lighting um it keeps going really cloudy it's just been raining like all day and all night but yeah quality wise this feels really nice i'm always really impressed with killstar's velvet pieces i've never had an issue with them i think they're really nice the stitching of this seems okay there's like a little bit of green fluff on that but the stitching looks kind of well done no really loose threads apart from that piece of green fluff and it feels like a nice quality it's a nice thickness for velvet it's not see-through or anything and i really really like the pattern i also like this print because i am a capricorn and like the capricorn sign is the goat so i really wanted something in this so quality wise it's really nice sizing wise it's okay maybe size up overall it's just too short and if i'm five foot two and it's too short then i don't know who this is really for i guess it would be for if you're kind of under five foot but that is the skirt so that one will be going back I also got the dress now i'm not sure if i'm keeping this or not i might end up keeping it because i've now gone through three through three th that's hard to say <laughs> i've now gone through three things from this collection and if none of this is kept like i won't get anything in this print and i really want something in this print so this one is called the mistress of mayhem love the name and i got this for 24 pounds 99 so actually only one pound more than the skirt so i'd say like 25 pounds for a dress which is basically a whole outfit i'd say is very good and it originally costs 42 pounds so realistically that's not too unsimilar to their older prices so i'd say 40 pounds for a dress is kind of standard so i wouldn't say that's overpriced or anything so when the dresses hit like the 50 or 60 pound mark then i'm a bit like mm. <laughs> but this dress is very pretty so it's one of these types of dresses like one of the ones with the strappy straps and it's kind of just kind of very simple in the style so the straps are actually stretchy they're made of this elastic and they are adjustable which we like <laughs> and then it's got this really pretty black lace around the neckline as soon as killstar do like velvet and lace i'm pretty much sold <laughs> and then there is a bow on the front and then i'm not so crazy about these seam lines i know a lot of people have complained about that because they don't fit where they're supposed to so i'm not crazy about that 
um, but again it's got this gorgeous print and then it just goes down into kind of a skater style dress and you can see the print a bit more here it's very very pretty the back is just simple it's just kind of straight across and then you've got the rest of the material this one is a whole lot better lengthwise it fits me well i'd say this is true to size i got it again in a small i just say that from like the waist to the hips it's not as flattering as the tarot card dress or as the next two dresses i'm showing you they don't it doesn't kind of like glide is that the right word <laughs> like it doesn't look smooth when it hits like your waist and your hips like i like things that kind of and look very flattering i don't feel like this is as flattering as the other things it's not clingy but it just doesn't look as nice i'm not sure what it is i am going to try this on again because i am determined to have something from this collection um and i probably will end up keeping it because i think it is very pretty and it's not too big of an issue i think it's just because i tried on the other stuff and was so blown away by that that when i tried on this i wasn't like as excited about this as the other pieces it is overall flattering i just think the other pieces fit me shape wise a little bit better um the quality of this is nice however there is quite a big loose thread on this that i oh yeah here it is now this isn't great i'm not very happy with this it's kind of under that seam line oh, it's not going to show up do you see this like that is huge i'm not happy about that because that is very big and also if you pull it it doesn't seem that was just a pun <laughs> it doesn't seem to be not attached like i'm not sure if you pulled that whether it would pull on something it looks like maybe where they finished it off inside where the end of the thread is i think if i keep this i will just cut this off but i do think that is not very good for like a 40 pound dress so yeah not impressed by this this is probably the only biggish loose thread that i found so i'm not i don't love that but the rest of the dress does seem nice and that's not on any other part like the rest of the stitching does look quite nice like it's finished off quite well so yeah only under that seam line there was an issue but apart from that i do like it first order so i did get, end up getting 30 percent off of all of that i think i took 10 pounds off because basically i had a 20 pound gift card through a referral and then i had a 10 pound gift card worth of points so i used 10 pounds off of one and 20 off of another but my overall total for two dresses with like the mesh top and a skirt was 77 pounds with free shipping so i don't think that's too crazy to be honest i think that's a really good deal for killstar pieces and apart from the skirt i am overall quite happy with that um and now we go on to the next order now they came out with this new collection and as i said at the beginning there's been so many collections that i've looked at and just been like what were they thinking <laughs> some of the jumpers now i'm just like that looks awful who made that like the giant upside down pentagram in red on like the gray jump oh. Sorry if you like that, but like that just, no. <laughs> I haven't liked a lot of their new stuff, which is why I haven't placed an order in some time. And then they released this gorgeous velvet, like death head moth collection. And I just knew I needed it. So I did buy two of the dresses in this print because I was just so stuck between both of them. They have a bunch of different things in that print. I would have loved a skirt as well, like a velvet skate skirt. That would have been so nice. <laughs> um, but they did two, or it could have even been more. They did like a bunch of different styles in this print. And they had a short sleeve version and a long sleeve version. But I was so stuck i just thought i'm gonna order both try them both on and see which one i prefer and i was actually surprised by the result so i do have the 
Fabiolina dress and the Mor Morgan dress, however you say that. Both in a small, both fit perfectly. Like, size-wise, this haul's been very good, apart from maybe the skirt, but apart from that, sizing has been very accurate. And this is their newest collection. So I'll go through the short-sleeved version first. <laughs> Just trying to find it. So this one is the morgan skater dress if i'm saying that right now this collection was a bit more expensive i think so this dress retails for 49 pounds 99 so this is part of their newer collection um so i do think it's hitting a little bit more expensive now for a dress that would have been 40 but with the cost of living crisis and everything i'm not too surprised i would be happy with this if i was keeping it but there's no point keeping two dresses in one print so this is the dress you haven't even seen what it looks like <laughs> so this is what the dress looks like so the reason i was stuck between this and the next one i'll show you after is because both had features that i really really liked so the short sleeved one has kind of a scoop neckline i do think this neckline is very very flattering but what i loved about this was all of the little lace details it's it makes it very elegant looking okay we're back with a new battery so i was talking about the short sleeve version so what i loved about this was the lace i think it's super pretty and then it goes all the way round kind of the neckline and even the back like it's such a pretty detail and then it's got short sleeves now i've had issues with these short sleeves before like they're very tiny they are comfortable but i've had problems in the past with like a top that had this that made my arms look like bigger than they are but this didn't have that effect for some reason i do think these are quite cute looking and i think it's because of the neckline it looks really nice and then down the front it's got this black velvet lacing and then you can see this gorgeous print. This is one of my favourite prints they've bought out in a really long time. So it's got roses, keys, and the keys are like, they're gold, but they're really ornate looking. It's got moons and like these thorns, stars, and then we have the moths. It's just such a pretty print. It's kind of like a like midnight garden i feel like that's what this makes me think of so i really love the print of this i think it's really beautiful really elegant and then it's got the seam here around the waist and then it just kind of goes down into a skater style dress and i love no <laughs> keep dropping it and i love this lace frill it has around the edge of the dress i think that finishes it off really well so that was this one so quality wise the velvet is so soft and as i said i haven't had problems with their velvet pieces so i'm quite confident that the velvet will hold up and still look very nice i am quite careful when i wash my stuff i always wash my stuff like inside out in bags um, just because I don't want any of the lace or like fancy things to get caught on the washing machine so I do kind of look after my stuff quite well which is probably why I haven't had any issues <laughs> I did really like this dress the only reason I'm really not keeping it is because I prefer the other one um, but quality wise but quality wise this is really nice um sizing wise I will say it fit me well however it was a bit big on like from the shoulders to the chest like the waist fit well and like it was an okay length i do think that this one is a bit longer than the other one i could be wrong but you will see in the try on um but it just like over here like especially on the shoulders it just felt very big and i'm not sure why but even like holding it up it could just be because of this huge neckline it just was a bit bigger than i would have liked it to be and when i bent down like it was quite gapy in the front so i didn't love that about this dress and that definitely pushed me over to choosing the other one but apart from that i was happy with it and as i said i would have been keeping it if not for the next one <laughs>
this one was definitely the most expensive but that is because it's got long sleeves okay so it says i got the other one for 33 pounds 42 and this one i got for 39 pounds 56 but originally i think this is a bit more pricey so this is 59 pounds 99 so this is definitely more than i would usually pay for a dress but i did get it for around 40 in the end however it does have massive <laughs> long sleeves so i would expect it to be more than a short sleeve dress and this is gorgeous like if you're looking for like a magical witchy moment this is the dress <laughs> it doesn't unfortunately have the lace which i really liked on the other one it does just kind of have this so there's no lace to finish it off i'm not sure if the lace would have looked too much on this dress maybe that's why they didn't include it because there is a whole bunch of stuff going on with the sleeve so maybe that's why they didn't and i also liked that with this dress i could wear it more like now in the winter with a coat or something the neckline is actually different to the other one it's not as square looking and it is more kind of scoop light and then it does have this thickish black ribbon now the main difference with the lace up with this one and the other one is the other one is very close together so if i show you the other one it's laced up really tight like there's hardly any gaps between this one however this one has a lot more of a gap so if you don't want to show anything then maybe go for this short sleeved one but this was actually a bit wider <laughs> when it arrived but i did manage to retie it um and i'm quite comfortable with that so that's fine but yeah that was one of the differences and i wasn't sure if i would like this and i wasn't sure if i would like the neckline and the sleeves so that's why i did order both it's got this really like cute puff to the sleeves which is really cute and flattering it does go slightly in at the waist and then just kind of goes out into a skater dress now i feel like this definitely has more material on the skirt but it gives it a very flattering shape and i do prefer the shape of this skirt compared to the other one however it doesn't have any lace at the bottom of it which i did like on the other one and for the sleeves so they start off not figure hugging <laughs> arm hugging <laughs> like they start off like this so they like grip your arm that's not right they like hug your arm they're giving your arm a hug <laughs> and then they start to flare out like a bell sleeve should be disturbia <laughs> so they do start off like this and then kind of when they reach probably your elbow they do start to flare out into this huge ridiculous bell sleeve so the sleeve length on this is really good it's a nice length where you can still see your fingers but it's not too long and it's not too short when it looks really weird i wasn't sure about this practically i don't usually go for dresses like this because i'm like oh how am i going to go to the toilet how am i going to eat but you can as i found with my other dresses like roll them up and like stuff them under there when you eat so if you're worried about that that's what i do with my bell sleeve tops so i'm sure you could do this for the dress kind of like roll it up it might look a bit weird but at least you won't be like having your sleeve and like all of your food <laughs> or picking any of it up because this would definitely pick up food <laughs> and then the back of it is just the print there's no kind of details it's just very very witchy very very elegant and i really liked this however i would recommend both to be honest i think both are really nice i'm just picking this one because it's also very unique and different to what i already have which is always good <laughs> sizing wise of that it fit me perfectly this one i also didn't have that issue with the shoulders or the chest it actually fit me perfectly um the length of that one i preferred so yeah quality was nice again the material feels very very soft so overall yeah i was really really happy with this so if
if you were looking at these newer pieces i hope this was helpful for you i also have a like a referral or an affiliate link or something i'm not sure what you'd call it so i will link that in the description box below for you i'll put it at the top it is always in the description box but i'll put it nearer the top so you can see it so if you do use that link you get five pounds off your order and i do get a gift card in return it used to be five pounds for you five pounds for me but they've actually put it up to like 20 pounds for me so i'm like okay <laughs> so someone actually did use my referral so thank you so much if you're the person who did because i can now buy something for 20 pounds um so that does help me especially with like hauling this stuff because it is overall like more expensive than other things so thank you if you do use that link it does help me save some money on my shopping as well but yeah i also had a few messages because i talked about that disturbia haul i had some messages about killstar whether they're going downhill and all of that so i think killstar used to be better I've been buying from Killstar for quite a long time I'd say like five years like just now like this top is from Killstar and I love it I wear it to death that cushion's from Killstar like I definitely still love Killstar even though they have gone in in like in my opinion they're not as good as they used to be um i do still think though their quality is nicer than disturbia like i'm really happy with all of this stuff it feels like how it should the difference is when you like hold up a dress it feels like heavy it feels like a really nice quality whereas with the disturbia stuff it felt cheap it felt like i'd ordered it from somewhere else like sheen the difference is I feel like this is still better quality than places like New Look. However, with Disturbia, I feel like New Look and even Primark has better quality. So that's kind of the difference. I don't love all of Killstar's new collections, but I do like, I mean, I'm not too mad about that because I'd have no money. <laughs> but there are definitely still the odd pieces that I like. So yeah, that's kind of my opinion on that. But you'll have to let me know what you think. Did you pick up anything in the Black Friday sale? Um, what do you think of these pieces? You will have to let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do like and subscribe if you did. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.